A, this is our insolvent list of the tax commissioner's office. Mr. Kane? Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing tonight? Good, good morning. Morning. Good. 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 Yes, sir. I'll slight sinus problem. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, we have, since I've taken uh, over the tax office, we have not uh, uh, asked y'all to, uh, uh, to wait, wait for delete, get rid of these uh, charges that's uh, not taxed, not, not uh, we cannot collect. Um, and, and the reason is the real estate uh, is over seven years uh, old, uh, $27,962.96. Uh, and uh, so it's seven years past it, so we cannot wait with flat back. The personal property, uh, uh, $372,405.81. Uh, approximately half of that was from Gander Mountain. And uh, the personal property, as you know, is uh, the uh, uh, stuff. I mean, the personal property, once it's moved, I mean, we have no way of collecting the personal property. Mobile homes, uh, $36,953.81.57. The mobile homes uh, were moved and uh, uh, no way to collect for that. Heavy equipment, the same way. Heavy equipment, $3,242.71. Uh, uh, heavy equipment, you know, was sold and moved down to the county and so that could not be collected. <clears throat> Paving, uh, uh, $7,258.25 uh, of what we agreed to try to uh, collect, and I think we collected a little bit of it, but it's there in this past seven years old. Uh, all this together totals $437,823.30. And that may sound like a, uh, a little chunk, but we have not come up here before the board and, and uh, attend this since I've been here and I think the previous administration did it on just about an annual basis which uh, which we plan on starting that after this year. Any questions? Any questions for Mr. Kane? Yeah. You know how much you have that's six years old, five years old and so forth? Uh, I don't think we have uh, actually broken it down in the uh, six or seven. Well, we, we have not listed here, but we have not added figures up on an annual basis like <coughs> that. These are all seven years old, correct? Uh, seven or more. Right. Yes, sir. But the, I guess my question is how much we're going to have next year? We come back next year. We know what we're going to uh, have. Uh, if, if, if I were guessing, now I'm, I'm <coughs> estimating, I would say probably less than 100000 our collections are coming along better than ever. Uh, the uh, 2020 property taxes were already right at, we already collected right at 98% of them. And it normally takes you know, three or four years to get, get it up back to 98% collection rate. And then of course after four or five years, we're on up there, uh, something like 99 point Five, seven, I think that's right. It's it's it's, it's so right at right, as close to hundred percent as as anybody, I would say. Any other questions? I guess I was I'm trying to uh, so we wanted to waive these fees. That's what we that's what we don't need to do, or you asking us to do. Well I I, I may have used the word why you um, incorrectly should have right off. Right off. Right, right off. off the taxes. Yeah, right off the taxes. I guess it is done quite, and so it's basically a charge off to get it off the clean the book. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I guess the part of me just wondering, I know it's a bad one practice, but I, I realize we do auction on people's properties for not paying taxes and stuff like that and all. But uh, I guess I'm trying to get the, the, the real difference. Uh, and this way, in accountability versus the other type. Well, 
Well, I think the majority of it is a personal property and heavy equipment and those sort of things, which if I understand it correctly, if it's moved outside the county, then it's uncollectible. You can't get it. I'm assuming that that is correct. Yes, sir. The, the, uh, the, uh, the only thing on here that's uh, real estate makes up only $27,962.96. That's the only thing that's uh, real estate, I mean, real property. As, as the chairman said, personal property uh, is gone. Mobile homes, they're gone. Heavy equipment, sold and, sold and gone. I mean, it's just not, nothing big but right at all. So, mobile homes is not considered real estate or real uh, that, That's correct. They're considered, they're considered personal property unless they've been uh, incorporated with the land, you know, taking the title away and incorporate the mobile home with the land. So, yeah. Brian, go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay. In, so inside that 27,000, I'm just curious, mm -hmm. um, there were taxes due on real estate property. Why didn't that go to sell? Um, with a you know, I, smaller amounts I, and I, 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 <clears throat> uh, why didn't I go to tax sale? I, I would imagine some of them probably went to tax sale. They didn't sell. And they didn't sell. Okay, so that makes we're, sense. we're having we're uh, you know uh, we're having a small issue with things like holding ponds. Uh, folks, uh, you know, they don't want to pay the tax on the holding pond, and then we. Uh, taking tax sale and whoever buys that holding pond then they got a liability really they're buying the liability to maintain that holding pond they can't develop that holding pond or do anything with it so uh you know it's things like that and and possibly uh, uh i'm just giving an example like maybe a 15 foot strip of property and that, that cannot be developed uh, yeah, um, and no one wants to pay Maybe fifteen hundred dollars worth of taxes on that property because it's they can't fifteen hundred they can't do anything with it. Yeah, it looks yeah, like typically if it doesn't sell at a tax sale, it's basically because the taxes owed is more than what the property is actually worth. So there's nobody going to make an investment in that. Right. Mm -hmm. So they did no sales, and then that's where it ends up on this list. Well, on that twenty-seven thousand looks like it's made up of a lot of little small. So that makes sense. Yeah. We, uh, Mr. Kane, I, let me just kind of plant this seed a little bit. We, we've had some discussions with the land bank. Uh, we've worked or uh, had one meeting that your very nice gentleman uh, that, that's with the with your office uh, on delinquent taxes. Mm -hmm. delinquent yes. things, uh, was part of that meeting for the land bank to work with the tax commissioner's office to see if some of these properties that, just like you're charging these off, that maybe those properties may have an opportunity to be transferred into the Balasta Lounge County the land bank, which in the long run could help them from a funding source as well uh, to be able to utilize it. Sometimes they can put some properties together and then make a piece of property or they might be able to sell that, for example, that little strip that you're talking about to an adjacent property owner to enlarge their piece of property and then get to gain them a little revenue so that they can then look at other properties again that's at the tax sale to purchase so that we can help some of these areas that we've got um, that we need to try to improve inside our community so think about that um, and I'm, I'm sorry but i was trying to think of uh, the young man's name it's a, 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 a summer Yes, yes, very nice, very yeah, nice yes, young man. Uh, was very, very engaged with the meeting baby. that we had, and we certainly appreciate you sending him over there to that to that meeting. But that's an opportunity that rather than just charge this stuff off, if we still have the piece of property sitting there that can't be used, there maybe there's a good opportunity that we can help the community by working with the land bank to be able to transfer some of these properties. So maybe mm -hmm. speak with him a little bit. And don't mind. It may already have. Yeah, I, that's I, a good opportunity. Yeah, we've uh, already uh, discussed this last meeting. I've been at I think three of the land bank meetings, and and it's uh, I think I think maybe they're maybe they're about to gear it up to where they can actually start some action. Yeah, hopefully. we're trying to get it, trying to get it back on track. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're moving in the right direction at this point. Any other questions for Mr. King? And, and I guess this is something that generally is supposed to take place every year, I guess. I, 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 think, I think most commission, tax commissioners bring it before the board on an annual basis, and that's what I would, that's what I plan on starting. About that way, uh, maybe instead of it being 20, less than $28,000 in real property, maybe it won't be over $1,000. Yeah, you won't have the sticker shop in the yeah. way you Appreciate sure. uh, Okay, any other questions? Thank you, Mr. King. Thank, thank you all. Thank you.